Today, we need to make this bison fly as far as possible. It doesn't matter who or what is in the way. We get to launch him, he's gonna land on a bunch of gummy bears, murdering them in horrible fashion. The further he goes and the more he murders, the more money we're gonna make to upgrade to launch him further. For example, on that little run, we made $1,150. So I think the first thing we should upgrade are elastic cables, that's only $400 upgrade. Then also a speedometer for $2,000. Pushes your speed limit to the next level. So now let's see how many things we can murder. Hopefully we get to finish this guy off. So far so good, I think we're gonna end up just a little bit further depending on how many gummy bears we land on. I had to use my little bouncer to clear that gap and new record for $1,371. But it probably is better to launch like upwards. Never mind. At the beginning. It's actually better to bounce off that idiot. We're trying to kill him anyway and I'm not really sure what he is but we can bounce off him. Somehow my stupid experiment worked. We didn't go nearly as far but we did make $2,100. Next, I think we're probably going to try the Flavor Master. Retain more speed when landing on gummy bears. And that's something I pride myself on in real life. This guy's down to like 40% health, so it's only going to be a few more launches to really finish him off. And we already hit the ground. So much of this early success seems to be on not hitting the ground, mostly hitting gummy bears. I do have to say I enjoy the way that just gummy bear genocide the entire time. 2500, but I want to keep going until we finish this guy off. Because I think the murder of him is going to be pretty valuable. Should be one more hit after this maybe too. All right stupid prepare to be disintegrated. Think he's dead. Now we wait for our reward. I really like the games where it's just the more you kill the more successful you're gonna be. Oh I wait I still got the money bag. I just hit a bunch of things that I don't really understand but we're definitely getting carried very far into this one. There's another money bag. Can we slam it? Yeah we sure can. And whatever that is oh don't hit that one. But we unlock pinatas which mostly exist to live in your nightmares. And then we just get to hit it until it explodes not unlike living things in real life. So we're gonna take that one for 125 coins or all of them because we're special like that. And that was worth $5,000, which added to the $10,000 we made trying to murder idiot. The first thing I'm gonna buy is slippery lotion, lose less speed when hitting the ground, that we will carry our momentum better and then pickpocket. Get more money out of gummy bears. I'm gonna do that twice because we hit a lot of gummy bears. Then I'm gonna go for the cheap rocket slam for only 200, increase the amount of times you can body slam, and bounciness. Everything you touch makes you bounce higher. So we're definitely a decently upgraded little bison right now and we've got a new guy. Oh we didn't even kill him last time. Okay well this time he's definitely dead and off we go. Carrying more speed than we did before. Murdering more gummy bears than ever before. And I'm gonna try and hit this bomb parrot. Okay I didn't even need to intervene. It just naturally happened and we found ourselves stuck in a wall. I'm not really sure what's happening anymore, but we clearly need to bore through this. I guess that is part of my mission. Break through the first giant cake wall. Oh, I'm gonna try. Plus, that was already a new record. 783 meters for 4 grand. Plus, we can replace the idiot we just murdered with a bigger idiot for only $100. Then, we can also buy what's called a punchiest pilot for $300. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I get it. These are things we find along the way that we can smash because I've seen a robber bear before. So we're gonna upgrade him because I hit a lot of those and they're worth a lot of money. And then suddenly all the upgrades are very expensive. This one's already 56,000. So we've got some work to do. Luckily, I've got way too much time on my hands so we're gonna smash right through this idiot and be on our way. Critical hit took off like 5% of his life. I only like this game for murdering gummy bears. I don't care about the rest of it. We're gonna hit the bomb to hopefully give us some more speed. And I think we hit, yep, there we go, a little money guy. And we're into a new wall, which we're slowly breaking through. So as long as we get about $5,000 for making it to the wall, we're in good hands. Just landed another critical hit on idiot stick at the beginning, though we're missing lots of gummy bears along the way also. If there's a bomb guy at a really good time, because I think we're getting pretty close to the wall. And the faster we hit that wall, the farther in we're gonna go. I'm I'm gonna spend another 12,750 on Flavor Master, retain more speed when landing on gummy bears. So we're just gonna carry our speed better. You could also think about it like faster murder, because the faster we're moving uh, along this line, the more gummy bears we're gonna kill, as long as we actually land on some of them. I finally hit the pilot, so we're gonna see how this works. Oh, well, I see. We get to like, <laughs> oh, hit the wall anyway. Well, it was fun while it lasted. And that also helped us to unlock Lieutenant Jell E. Boom. And because we rode the punchiest pilot, we get 125 coins. But for now, I'm going to spend six to $100 on better launch cables. That's going to launch us a little further initially and also probably do more damage to idiots. So let's see how this is going to go. 
actually did less damage from there because we didn't get a critical hit, but we got pretty good speed moving forward at least. There's so many new things to hit along the way now. Like we, we just rode a rocket for a second and we hit this with really good speed. We hit a money bake and got a new record. Plus a pinata. This time, let's go directly into big boy. No critical hit, but we're hitting the gummies right away and that's important. Hey, it's another one of these things. So we'll be able to ride that uh, very far along, hopefully. Oh, never mind, we broke it. Oh, I was so close to making it through the wall that time. There's like a cookie crust on the end. But we've hit the wall so many times now we have a big opening to carry momentum through. So let's add some extra bounciness for 11,500. Everything you touch makes you bounce higher. So I should get an extra bounce off of him. Critical hit, and we're going very high up now. There's a bomb. There was a money boy below. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. We're going to go right over the wall if we bounce like that. And we're into the wall and right into the crust. But we definitely hit that with more speed. Okay, let's spend $5,000 on Lieutenant Jelly Boom. Launch yourself from one barrel to another and gain serious speed. Then after opening a nice pinata or two, we've got more money to spend. So let's spend $3,000 on the Teddy Flare. And $4,000 on the Jelly Roger, just because we might as well upgrade everything we can. And since Slippery Lotion is for some reason 75% off, we're going to buy that lose even less speed when hitting the ground. Okay, with all these new upgrades and all the little pinata boosters, let's see how this is gonna go. There's a big hit to him. We've never done that much damage before. And look how high up we got. We're gonna kill a lot of gummy bears. And oh, we should have slammed down on the rocket. I thought we were gonna hit it, but we broke through the wall for the first time. Oh, now we get to murder yellow gummy bears. This is gonna be fun. There's a pinata that I should probably grab. And we're still rolling along strong. I don't know if that's from the upgrades or the pinata boosts. But here's also a... Nope, we're not going to catch up to it. Well, that's okay. That's easily a new record. We went super far. Oh, we got a boost to keep going. Last we hit a rocket. We're going over the bear trap. We're going to slam down there. We're going to hit a bomb and make it straight into the second wall. Thus, we unlock the new launcher door called Pineapple Spank. And that run apparently was worth 81,000, which is way more than we made before. And that's definitely the kind of money we can use to further our genocide. The first upgrade is definitely going to be Cake Eater. That's going to help us bust through the walls quicker. Then I'm going to take Pickpocket, more money out of Gummy Bears for 56,000. And for 14,000, Speedometer, push your speed limit to the next level. The faster we can go, the more momentum we can carry. Then we're going to do Rocket Slam because it's cheap. Oh, and we're actually playing as uh, Pineapple Spank already. And that's just fine because we're going to do Big Damage. Should only be a few more hits for him. Look how high we fly every time now. And we're definitely carrying some serious speed, especially after things like that. So as long as we're punching when he hit the ground, well... Even that was worth $8,300, and that took no time at all. Oh, and then we're back to Burrito Bison, so smack, not a critical hit, but still plenty of damage. I like this hand, by the way, it absolutely destroys so many gummy bears at once. And we're stuck in the wall. So let's spend $15,000 on Cake Eater. At least I assume this is helping me get through the walls, I'm not really sure. But if you wanted well-informed, thought-out choices, you've come to the wrong channel. Here's a rocket. If we can stay on top of the pink things for a second, well, we would carry a lot of speed. Still stuck in that wall. Okay, this time I broke through the cookie wall, so we're going to carry some more speed. And this is going to mean big money, because these yellow gummy bears are worth a lot. And we got one of these, so we can really put some emphasis on the murder. Plus, that rocket's going to help carry me forward. We're going to murder the bear trap, that way it doesn't get me stuck. And bounce as many times as we can. This is going to be a lucrative run. Especially if we can catch up to that bomb. Which we painfully cannot. We can upgrade our luck. Luck is my favorite thing ever. And only a mod is 35,000 for that run. Good things will occur more frequently. Give me all of that. I'm going to spend the next $56,000 on that too. And on the very next run, we carried our speed. So we busted through the wall again. So we're back to murdering the yellow gummy bears. And we even got a stomper so we can kill all of them. Ooh, plus a rocket. This is going to be a good run. And I think we're about to pass our record, especially once we hit him. And we're going to continue carrying our speed because that extra luck seems to be paying off. We're hitting all sorts of things and we're about to hit another wall, which also offers us the opportunity to watch an ad for goodies. So that's going to give us everything you see here. Oh, we didn't see the last thing, but I'm sure it was good. Almost 50,000 for that single run. So we're going to buy more luck because you just can't get enough luck. And lose left speed when getting trapped by cops. That's only 8,000, so give me that. If we get an incredible critical hit, we might actually finish him off. No, but it's very close. One more punch and he's done. And now we can pretty much just rely on luck for the rest of this. And I busted straight through that wall, but I'm not carrying a lot of speed right now. So we're going to have to do something to pick some more up. Like a rocket. Uh, there's Jelly Boom. Tap, aim for barrels. Got it. Uh... Okay, I see how it works now that I'm back on the ground. But next time, we'll have that under control. And we got another smasher, so now we can just kill all the gummy bears. 
We need longer one of those though. You can only use it a few times before it runs out and that's kind of heartbreaking. Uh, we also used one of our pinata parts to jettison us through the wall, but we still got stuck in the wall. But we did unlock Door Destroyer and that was a new record of almost 2,000 meters. So we got $112,000. Definitely going to buy this. Uh, makes it easier to break the giant doors and lower speed lost in the process. I'm going to buy that twice because we're breaking through a lot of walls. Then I'm also going to buy a better initial launcher. Okay, good news. I think I just managed to triple my income by watching a bunch of ads. Not entirely sure, but I do know I did watch a bunch of ads, so we're gonna finish this guy off. Nope, never mind. We hit him very lightly that time. But we did quite easily make it through the first wall, so as long as we hit a good rocket or two, we should be in pretty good hands. And we're gonna keep going with the barrels because those are giving us crazy speed. Yeah, this new luck is working out great because I feel like we're constantly hitting things. And we made it as far into the wall as to hit a giant money bag. Plus we unlocked two cards for $2,000, which isn't much because we probably made hundreds of thousands on this run. But we got rocket fuel. Okay, never mind. We made $10,000 only somehow. Not sure that works. Not sure I care. Back to murdering. And this time, straight into him and he's knocked out. That's got to be worth something. We absolutely busted through that first wall. So now we're carrying pretty good speed. So now it's just a matter of relying on things like this to absolutely destroy everything on the ground. Stupid peasants, they all must die. And we made it to the far side of the second wall. Last we got a new opponent, the Beaster Bunny. But I think I want to go back to Harry Bowtie. We're going to upgrade him once. Not really sure what that's going to do. Then I'm also going to buy Bodybuilding. Deal more damage so your opponents can be defeated faster. We're going to buy two levels of that. So we're back to the annoying moron, but we should be able to do ample damage to him. And we're pretty consistently busting through the first wall at this point. So we're going to be making better and better money as we go. We just got to find a way through the second wall. So maybe I can use this punchy hand to get us there. No, nope, but we did find... Ooh, there's a big bomb. Okay, I see. We made 12465 for that run, but the total is 35000 because of our multiplier. Next, we're also going to buy the Wanna Bear. They think a star like you deserves to reach the sky, and they're here to help. I like the sound of that. Plus, we're going to upgrade the punchiest pilot because he's just a lot of fun. We just busted through the wall at a very big height. Unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of speed after that, but boy, we came in hot. This is going pretty well. We might actually carry the speed we need to get through the wall if we hit it at a good spot. Nope, we hit it at a very bad spot. But we got Gumdolf. $22,000 for that run. And Gumdolf, bump into their chest three times and then think to yourself, there's nothing like a ton of cash. That sounds like something I would enjoy a lot. So let's let it go. There's the first wall complete. And we're carrying pretty good speed. As long as we keep it in those gummies, we'll maintain our speed. I just flew under Gumdolf. I could have got one of the keys. And I'm literally missing everything now. Well, we hit the bomb finally, so that's something at least. And rocket ride. Come on, something good. Yep, straight through the wall. Not bad. Yeah, we did it. We got through that wall. Purple gummies. So now we get more genocide. We only killed one of them. But we got a pinata. So for our new record of 1955 meters, we got 60 grand. So with that, let's spend 59,000 on rocket slam. That way we get a little bit more slamming power. But slamming power helps me to find those upgrades along the way or those boosts. And this guy should only last a few more hits. Never mind. We killed him just like that because we do a lot of damage to him. Easily tore through the first wall so things are looking good. As long as I don't do anything stupid we should bust right through the second wall. Especially if we use this. Murder all the gummy bears. There we go. Oh we got stuck in the bottom. We hit a golden barrel towards the second wall so that might actually help. Oh okay we got one of these too. Uh, carry us through? Nope, never mind, because we hit the wall in a new spot. But we got Prickly Pear. They only cost $225,000. Knock them off their inflated amount and try to run them over for an eye-popping reward. I will do my best. But we're gonna start taking on the Beaster Bunny now, so it's gonna be a few hits to take him out. But I've got time. Made it through the second wall again, but didn't even get to the gummy bears. We need more speed. And the pinata gave us all these rewards, but 75% off Jolly Roger. So I'll save 36,000. And we got 60,000 total for that run. So it would be stupid not to buy him for only 12,000 because that's a three quarters off deal. Then while we're at it, let's upgrade the Teddy Flare because those do boost us up into the sky. Look how long it's gonna take us to defeat the Beaster Bunny. But we'll get there. And we hit a golden barrel just before hitting the second wall. And apparently that's not good enough for us. Again, we made it to the second wall. So we broke a new record. And we're going to murder all the purple jellies we can. Because, well, these have got to be worth a fortune. 2,024 meters worth $56,000. But we're going to save our money for a minute because I need bigger upgrades. I also can't help but wonder if we can hit the Beaster Bunny in the air for a better launch. So we just wait for him to jump again and go right underneath him. That's interesting. We're carrying a lot of speed through the first wall on this one. Whoops, missed the 
key because we we're hitting so many bombs and stuff that time around. Broke a second key from Gumdolf on this one. Can't remember what that's supposed to do, but we're also busting through the second wall at a pretty good pace. So this should be a new record, especially if we can hit this. And not that, but that's okay because we're killing a lot. Oh, we want that for sure. Then we can use this to shoot much further along. This will be a big new record. Hopefully worth a fortune too. We're getting super, super lucky on this run. We just keep hitting everything. Like these two. We hit a bomb and a punchy thing. So now we're going to punch everything. We might even make it to the next wall. And we hit another punchy hand. So we're going to punch things along the way. I don't know how much this is going to be worth. But I feel like we're going to make a lot of money. And we're still going along. Ooh, give me the barrel. Can I hit that? Yeah, we can. So that's going to launch us into the gold barrel, which is going to launch us way further ahead again. Wow, we hit that wall with so much speed too, but we didn't even make a dent. So that time we went 3,848 meters, which is by far the furthest we've ever gone. That was worth $186,000. So I think for now, I'm going to buy Flavor Master, retain more speed when landing on gummy bears. Then we're also going to buy Slippery Lotion, lose less speed when hitting the ground. That's almost $200,000 in upgrades. Those two seem to be my main kind of catalyst for, uh, you know, making progress. Oh, okay. We'll just go ahead and hit him really hard. And then we're really airborne now. This is a good start. We're already through the first wall because we're moving like a rocket. Next, I definitely want a higher max speed because that would really carry us further faster. And I'm clearly a very busy person. This is another one of those games that's just very satisfying to play. Just get to smash gummies again and again and again. We were stopped for a second, but one of my pinatas brought me back to life, so we're gonna keep on moving along. And there's the wall again. I guess I'll just have to settle for another $113,000. Next, we're gonna add a little more bounciness for $85,000. Because as everyone knows, extra bounce leads to extra good things. And considering this whole game is basically about bouncing off things, I really think that being a Extra bouncy probably only serves to benefit us. I do think I still need more top speed though because we're going fast but I want to go faster. I want to go fast enough to hurt the game. This is a pretty good start though. We just absolutely tore through the second wall. Made it to the wall again. Probably murdered my own character but we made it to the wall. And for the pinata we got on that run we're going to save 75% off pickpocket which is good because we also made $212,000 that run. So instead of costing $350,000 this is going to cost $87,000 and I'll take it. Then we can increase our speed limit for only $100,000. Next upgrade 635,000 so we better start saving. But I've got a good feeling about this one. Critical hit to start. And hopefully we hit enough stuff along this one to find that new max speed. But it's going to be a little bit hard to tell because sometimes it is moving very quickly. Like I don't even know what happened there but we're through the first wall. And then there was a couple more explosions. That's the second wall. Uh, we're definitely hitting a new speed record. We still came through that wall pretty slowly though, so we're going to have to get some luck here to pick up our speed. It might not have been a new record, but we did hit incredible speeds. We just got unlucky towards the end, so let's do it again. Going through the second wall, carrying some pretty good speed for once, so as long as we hit some good upgrades over here, we might actually make it through the next wall. Still carrying some pretty good speed and getting a whole bunch of crap along the way. Still can't get through that wall though, no matter how hard I hit it. Luckily for us, we did get $181,000 out of that, so I'm thinking probably Cake Eater, make it easier to carve the inside of giant doors. Door destroy would probably be better but I don't have $415,000 so we're gonna take a cheap upgrade for now. I've never come into the purple jelly area with this much speed. Uh, we're getting pretty unlucky with the power-ups we're finding so far but we definitely came in with some speed. So if we could just hit a few handy rockets that would be great because it might actually make it through the next wall with this kind of speed. As long as it keeps up or even gets better potentially. Come on. Yeah, we made it into the wall. Not through it, but we made it way into the wall. So our money for making it all the way into there, 318,000 for 3,896 3, meters. On the next run, I also broke that second wall with quite a bit of speed. So hopefully we find some good bombs. And we definitely did. So now we just got to keep the speed going a little bit. There's the wall. There's the bomb. Oh, we made it almost to the end of the second wall third wall. So that was worth a modest $521,000. Which means I'm gonna buy Door Destroyer. Makes it easier to break the giant doors and lowers speed lost in the process. Then I'm just gonna buy a few cheaper upgrades for other things because those are just gonna help. That only costs a few dollars anyways. Okay, this might be the final hit for the Beaster Bunny. Yep, he's finally knocked out. We got a big bounce out of that. And so far we're carrying pretty good speed along our journey. Still wish I was just a little bit faster overall or a little bit bouncier or all of the above but i mean we're still busting through walls at a pretty incredible rate and do we get a new record 
I don't know if I got a new record, but we about tied it. And for that nice run, $300,000. So let's spend that on a prickly pear for $225,000. For that kind of money, it's gotta be worth it. I just hit the basic enemy Harry Bowtie, took off half his health in a single hit. And we got the treasure chest. Well, the first few walls really aren't a problem anymore. We're so bouncy and powerful that we're just cruising through absolutely everything. And we're just getting there much faster than we used to too. So that's kind of nice. I do like the big speed increase. I just passed over the prickly pear. I kind of got surprised by him, so I didn't react to him. Could have had him, but you know what? This should be okay. We're going to hit that wall with some pretty good force, as long as we don't hit any more of those idiots along the way. Well, that kind of killed my speed entirely. And another one, just for good measure. We went from about to hit the wall with incredible speed to maybe not even going to hit the wall. Oh, actually, that's going to help us. So we got into the wall, and... Slight new record. $450,000. But next time we could probably spend a few million on upgrades and hit light speed. 